Hey, it's Jason Martinez from 97.5 The Fanatic, Philadelphia Flyers Radio, and we are at the Skate Zone in Pensacola, New Jersey, and I've got a special guest. How about this? Jocelyn Lamoureux. She only scored a little bit of an important goal to win a gold medal in last year's Olympics. The shootout winner. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. It's nice to be back in the building. Feel good to be in the rink? Yeah, you know, I haven't been in a rink in a couple months, so it's nice. Even when it's 85, it's nice to get back in the rink. Oh, yeah. it always feels good, no matter how humid it is outside. It always feels good. You feel right at home in the ring, right? Absolutely. Now, we're going to get back to that game-winning goal in a second, but you guys are in Philadelphia, and you're here for a great cause with Comcast, and you guys are providing low-income families with the ability to use digital and get connected digitally. This game has provided you this opportunity to help other people. We'll talk about that. Well, it's, it's really important for Monique and I to use our platform to, to make an impact. Um, not just uh, hockey, but outside of hockey. And so uh, the, the Internet Essentials Program that Comcast has provides over 6 million Americans, uh, low-income Americans, with internet at home for $9.95 a month. And it took like 6 million. That's, yeah. It's hard to grasp the, how many people that is. And so uh, we're excited to be here today uh, because we know that Snyder Hockey is not just about hockey here. Uh, they have the homework pro program. They, and participate in, uh, in the on-ice events as they take care of their grades. And so we're excited for a special giveaway we have for the kids today. Uh, it will be our second one in a Snyder Hockey event, and so we're really excited to be here. It's really great because as a member of USA Hockey myself, growing up playing in USA Hockey like you did, um, to see the growth of USA Hockey over the years is tremendous. And the growth that led to, I mean, there's high school girls teams, varsity teams, junior varsity. You guys were on the cusp of that and the success you guys had doing is going to grow the sport for females all over the country. Absolutely. I think, you know, in 98, that was the last time the U.S. won a gold medal for, for women's hockey. Uh, there was a huge bump in, in girls' participation. Uh, it's been a steady growth for the last four years, and now I, I feel like there's going to be another big bump uh, of girls' hockey, uh, girls playing hockey in America. Yeah, and you're going to be like the Haley Wickenheiser of the United States. <laughs> you're like on the front of it, though, because you scored what is what we would deem right now is the most important international goal in a shootout, no less, to win a gold medal. How did that gold medal change your life? I mean, it's really, as an Olympian, you have a platform. And as a gold medalist, it's, it's a whole different world. You sign your name different now, you know? I don't know about that, but uh, it's just the opportunities you have to make a true impact in so many is, is what's really important is what really, you know, is the opportunities that have come our way since the uh, since the gold medal game uh, to make an impact and to really change lives is, is what's important to us and what we're trying to, trying to create more opportunities for ourselves to do that to impact more people. Well, one of the great things about sports is rivalries and not liking your opponent. <laughs> um, we've always hated the Soviet Union from a hockey standpoint in this country. Canada's our neighbor to the north and you got the rivalry that you guys have with Team Canada is on a whole different level. It gets nasty, frankly. This isn't just like women's hockey and you guys are out there just, no, you guys are getting physical and it's, it's a heated rival. What does it mean to, to win the gold medal over your biggest rival? Well, I think uh, US and Canada rivalry in women's hockey, I think it, I think is the greatest rivalry in all sports. Um, it's every single game is, it's a, it's a one goal game. It's overtime, it's a shootout, it's the, the competition, it's, it's always there. And when you dream about winning a gold medal, when I dreamed about winning a gold medal, it's, it's against Canada. Right? You, are, you have to beat the best to beat the best, and so it just makes it that much more sweet. Yeah, when the Eagles won the Super Bowl, we didn't want them to beat the Jacksonville Jaguars. They were like, yeah, you won, yep. but you beat the Jags. I'll tell you what. You beat the Patriots, you're good to go. We were watching the Super Bowl in, in South Korea. It was yeah. right, so we watched like the first quarter, and then we had to get on the ice for practice, and then we caught like the tail end. Oh, okay. And we're watching a lot of our teammates. How long did are, they have you on the ice for? Oh, just about an hour. Oh, okay. 20. I thought it was a long practice. I talked to the coach. Uh, we have a lot of Massachusetts, uh, oh, okay. New England uh, players on our team, and so it's it pretty, pretty fun watching with a bunch of Patriots. Yeah, that Kessel girl's a, a Patriot fan, isn't she? Amanda. I'm not sure about Kess, but. Uh, Megan Duggan, Decker, Casey. Well, I'm glad uh, they're heartbroken. How's that? <laughs> um, let me ask you that this, too, because. Uh, Playing hockey, and hockey is one of those sports where it's so familial. Everybody that grows up in it, there's a respect for, it's never about the individual person. You made such an individual great play in a team sport. But as you're going in on that shootout, did you know the tendencies of the goalie? Did you know what you were going to do, or did you just improvise? Because it was a sensational goal. 
Um, I think there were things I knew I was going to do. Like, I went in pretty slow uh, because everyone had come in in a, in a straight line uh, and came in pretty quick. So I wanted to change up the pace. I think it screws up the goalie's timings when you do that. Uh, and I knew she had a tendency to kind of bite on fakes. And and, she did. Yeah, she, she did. Um, but, yeah, I think after after I crossed about the top of the circle, I just – I don't know what I was, you blacked out. Yeah, I blacked out. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what was going through my mind, but um, there's a little bit that you're consciously making an effort to do certain things, and the rest is just the the work and muscle memory takes over. Yeah. Well, you're part of her nightmares for the rest of your life, <laughs> but you're part of a lot of people's dreams and coming true, winning that gold medal. Enjoy this great event with Comcast today. Thanks for taking the time, Jocelyn Lamoureux. Perfect.